Welcome to This Week in Anime History, a look at some of the major anime news stories from this week, many years past. Starting this week with uh, July 8th when the black ships from America arrived in Japan, July 8th, uh, Commodore Perry bringing the full military might of America on a whirlwind tour, not really a whirlwind tour, a tour um, all around Asia. Bringing with it um, certain, let's just say, um, uh, very firm opinions from America as to what Japan should be doing. And eventually, this led to the toppling of the Tokugawa shogunate and the um, opening of Japan to the West and the modernization of Japan as we know it today. So an epochal, epochal moment in Japanese and world history because it ultimately led to the opening of Japan and uh, many different things um, uh, that Japan has done since then. Yeah. So definitely, uh, uh, you know, not necessarily anime history per se, but definitely uh, uh, Japanese history. Um, also, uh, this week in 1950, July 5th specifically, yeah. uh, the company Bandai was founded. Uh, Bandai notable because it has become a major force in uh, merchandising, in toy manufacture. Uh, they now uh, own the Gundam franchise, which I believe makes a, uh, a yen here and there. Um, and they have been uh, pretty good about, um, or, or pretty strong uh, about working with anime studios on anime properties and being kind of the, that uh, heavy-duty merchandising arms behind a lot of anime. Uh, indeed, one of the reasons for the real robot genre sort of evolving was the fact that uh, Bandai came in and talked to uh, Sunrise, the the anime studio, to try to make to try to try to change the formula for Mecha, um, and Gundam was one of those sort of experiments to uh, to change around how Mecha was uh, 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 had evolved, and uh, yeah, um, so definitely a, a, a major major force in anime in general was uh, was that. Also another major force in anime, but over here in America, uh, July tenth, nineteen ninety nine. Toonami changed around, uh, or Cartoon Network changed around its Toonami block. So Toonami's been around for a while, but initially it was just an action, um, uh, uh, an action animation block. So they showed American animation as well as anime, um, and so they were showing, uh, uh, oh gosh, the Herculoids and uh, Space Ghosts and a lot of those things. Uh, but it was July tenth, nineteen ninety nine, when they introduced Tom, the Absolution, and the anime heavy anime block. Um, there was still, I think, one or two uh, American cartoons in there, but uh, very much anime-focused. And This was really where Toonami shifted into what we think of today as this vanguard of bringing uh, anime over to America um, and really bringing um, uh, the average American kid some of those more, uh, you know, uh, notable anime series, the Gundam Wings, um, the Outlaw Stars, all that stuff. Uh, and so, yeah, Toonami made its shift back in July 10th of 1999, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, things definitely would not have been the same without that happening uh, over 20 years now. Kind of crazy to think.